Hello everyone, Lisa here, aka Crafting Diva. Thank you so much for joining me on my YouTube channel today. And as you can see from the title of this video, this is video 10 for Pink Bubble Cards, which is Hilary here on YouTube for her alphabet challenge. And wow, can you believe we're on video 10? We're going through those letters super fast. And I really do hope you're enjoying these videos that I'm uploading for you as I'm taking part in Hilary's challenge. If you're not um, new to it and you don't know what it's all about basically Hillary who is pink bubble cards here on YouTube she's running a little challenge every Wednesday she picks a different alphabet from her little box and she gives us either a theme we have to follow or a craft product we have to use and show a little video of it here on YouTube so like I say we're on video 10 so if you look in the description box I'll leave links to all my previous videos for you all and yes we're getting loads of inspiration out there for you all and I really hope you're enjoying watching all the videos if you follow the hashtag at the top of the screen it will take you a page to a page where all the videos from everyone who's taking part their videos will be shown on there so it's quick and easy page to click on and you can see all different sorts of inspiration from lots of amazing crafters so without further ado this is video 10 and the theme we had to follow for this week is G for glitter and yes I'm not a huge fan of uh, loose glitter so I knew I wouldn't be wanting to go down that road for my project I've got a few little tubes of it but I'm really not into it because it gets absolutely everywhere and yeah it's just not my idea of crafting with loose glitter so what I thought I'd use is my glitter glues. In a previous uh, haul video that I uploaded just a few days ago, I showed you these Art Studio glitter glues that I ordered from the range. These worked out at £2.50 for 12 just uh, super cute mixed coloured glitter glues and I thought this would be the perfect project to give these a go and let you know what I think of them and see what you think of them. So for my project I've made a DL card and what I've done is use this apple blossom dye which is sort of a scene dye that you can do stained glass effects with and I thought this would be perfect to use to put the glitter into the spaces of the die cut so as you can see what I've done is stuck the die cut onto a piece of acetate and then use the different glitter glues to fill in the different areas of the die cut what I did was two coats of each color to give it a really nice coverage and as you can see the glitter glue is really nice and sparkly and nice um, intense colour to the actual glitter glue you get a nice colour from it I will say the glitter glue is a little bit runny I would prefer it to be a tiny bit thicker but then it being that more runny consistency did give me the chance to um, sort of blend the colours out into the shaped area and as you can see in the actual sun area I did manage to mix the glitter glues together the orange and the yellow where they were that little bit runnier so what I did was once it was all dry I've matted it on a nice bit of black card to really make the glitter glue stand out then I matted a piece of this pale blue onto another piece of black cardstock and matted that onto my DL um, card blank and then I just stamped a simple sentiment birthday wishes on white cardstock again matted on black to make that stand out and finished off with two lovely uh, pearl hearts in a soft yellow tone and yeah it's just quite a really simple card it did take a bit of time waiting for the glitter glue to dry but yeah I'm really quite impressed with them like I say gave a nice nice coverage of the actual colour of the glitter glue I did do two coats and would have preferred it to be that tiny bit thicker but I think it's gave a nice effect to my die cut and I'm pleased with my card I hope you like it too I'd love to know your thoughts please feel free to leave those in the comments box below and don't forget I've got a little giveaway running at the moment where you can win my Easter card and a pack of my little Easter toppers that I showed you in a previous video of pink bubble cards that ends tonight I'll leave a link to that video in the description box if you'd like to go and check that out and please feel free just to leave a comment follow the rules and then you could be in the chance of winning my card and a little bit pack of handmade toppers so thanks so much for taking your time out of your day to watch my video today really hope you enjoyed it don't forget to go and check out all the other videos that are being uploaded for pink bubble cards and I hope to see you all again soon next week. Bye for now.